The chair recognizes Mr. Zeldin. Thank you, uh, Chairman. I want to thank Chairman Ed Royce and the Foreign Affairs Committee for uh, taking a leadership role on this issue. Um, regardless of whether the President is getting played or he is just playing along, when the President gets played, my country gets played. Uh, Senator Bob Menendez um, made a comment of the leader from his own party that it seemed like his talking points were coming directly from Tehran. When the President says and his administration says that there is an agreement and the leadership of Iran is immediately refuting the terms of that agreement in any way, there is no meeting of the minds at all. Over the course of uh, this debate, whether we go back 10 years or we go back over the course of the last 12 to 18 months, Iran has made a tactical decision that they will benefit from billions of dollars of economic benefit in return for pursuing nuclear capability but doing it just a little bit slower than they were previously. I think we need to understand that our enemies do not respect weakness, they only respect strength. I support increased sanctions. Mr. Sherman said at the beginning of this hearing that it is important that we have a July 1st game plan. That this only goes into effect if there is no deal. I was criticized for um, my expression of uh, gratitude for the Israeli Prime Minister accepting the invite to come address a joint Congress. Some say that having the Israeli Prime Minister here undercuts America's foreign policy. Uh, one colleague on the uh, other side of the aisle said yesterday that it is a subversion. If having the Israeli Prime Minister come address a joint session of Congress is undercutting American policy, then there is something wrong with America's foreign policy. I think that we need to be uh, posturing ourselves always from positions of strength and not weakness. I believe in American exceptionalism. We are a great country. Uh, we have seen it in Iran as we have seen it um, with other foreign policy challenges our country faces. Um, there is nothing to apologize for if the President sees himself with leverage going into negotiations. Um, and my, my question, which in uh, some form or fashion with, uh, with my colleagues before me has been asked, but I would just like you to speak to the very simple question of if Congress passes increased sanctions, does that give this President, which only go into effect if there is no deal, does that give this President more leverage or less in his talks? Congressman Zellin, I cannot imagine how it cannot give him more leverage, uh, as the previous sanctions have already given us leverage. I, I agree with Ray that um, economic sanctions alone are, are not enough. I think we need to do a few other things. Uh, I spoke in my statement about the importance of um, convincing Iran that the military option is serious and real. The administration likes to say all options are on the table. Um, I, I think when the Supreme Leader uh, gives speeches ridiculing that uh, behind banners that say America can't do a damn thing to us, um, it, it tells you that they are not convinced that it's real and they need to be convinced that it's real because that's part of getting them to the point that I think Mr. Hanna was talking about earlier, concluding that a diplomatic solution is the best option for them because the other options, both economic and military, are worse. Congressman, I think it um, in theory, should give you more leverage, makes it much more difficult to have more leverage when you have the, the leader of the negotiation, the President of the United States himself, arguing against it, saying he doesn't want it, and saying that such action would, in fact, constitute grounds for unraveling the international coalition and for our enemy walking away from the table and resuming its nuclear program. So I think that is extremely problematic. I think it could, be, could work, but, but I am worried about it say that if it is the administration position that the sanctions are ne unnecessary at this stage, then they have to, they are obligated to say how do they propose to change the dynamics of stalemated talks. The administration says 
pressure is necessary at this stage. It just believes that there is sufficient pressure now uh, augmented by the drop in the oil prices. There is sufficient pressure. The question is whether there should be what would be perceived internationally as a uh, premature uh, and uh, unnecessary provocation. I, uh, I, I thank the, the panel and again to the, uh, the committee and to the chairman. Last night I was uh, in my office rereading the, uh, the U.S. Constitution and uh, I, I see components of it talking about the power of the purse of Congress, the, uh, the ratification of treaties, the declaration of war. Um, those out there who said that this body uh, is not an equal branch of government and does not have a role in America's foreign policy, uh, I'd recommend that it would be good reading to look at the U.S. Constitution and some of its analysis. I, I yield back the balance of my time.